Today's news. Today's news. CBS News on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Cammie McCormick. There is unprecedented security in place for tomorrow's election. Christopher Cruz begins our coverage. Jen Easterly says the nation's election infrastructure, quote, has never been more secure, and the election community has never been better prepared to deliver safe, secure, free, and fair elections. She says her agency hasn't detected evidence of any activity that could directly affect the outcome of the election. Last week, a senior official of the agency said there was a high likelihood that foreign disinformation efforts will continue in the weeks and months after the election up until January 6th, the date Congress certifies the winner of the presidential election. Christopher Cruz, CBS News, Washington. The candidates are focusing on the battleground states today. Natalie Brand has that. Kamala Harris defending election eve crisscrossing Pennsylvania, starting the day with campaign volunteers in Scranton. As we are candidates, let's be intentional about their community. Tonight in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, more star power, including Katie Perry, Lady Gaga, and Oprah Winfrey campaigning for the vice president. Former President Donald Trump is hitting three states, including making stops in two of the same Pennsylvania cities as Vice President Harris. In Reading, Trump focused again on immigration. I'm here by calling for the death penalty for any migrant that kills an American citizen or Scott McFarland has been tracking where things stand for other races. Our CBS News Review shows roughly 30 battleground districts in the U.S. House nationwide. That's fewer than 10% of all races. Potentially vulnerable Republicans in California and three competitive races in Pennsylvania. A Pennsylvania judge has just ruled that Elon Musk's $1 million a day voter sweepstakes can proceed. Striking Boeing workers are voting today on a new contract offer. It calls for a 38% wage increase over four years. There's a whole lot to think about, and everybody's got to make their own decision. The Pentagon said today the number of North Korean troops in Russia is growing, and they're moving closer to the border with Ukraine. Spokesman Pat Ryder. We think that the total number of DPRK forces in Russia total could be closer to around 11 to 12,000, um, with about 10,000, at least 10,000 right now in the Kursville blast. The deputy U.S. ambassador to the U.N. blasted China and Russia today for North Korea's recent actions. Despite being permanent members of this council, Russia and China have shamelessly protected Pyongyang from any reprisal or even condemnation of its actions. That includes its most recent missile launch. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 72 degrees in Malpitas, California.